Hello everyone, Johnny here and welcome back to another video. Now today's video, I'm going to be showing you what it'd be like if a roadman was on Come Down With Me. If you're new around here, please smash that big red subscribe button. Also, smash the like button. Let's see if we can smash 30,000 likes for this video. It'd be much appreciated. Also, if you haven't already, go get yourself some merch. The link is in the description. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. But before we get into the video, it's sponsor time. I've got a little secret to tell you lot. Look, come closer. A little secret about a hidden gem. Something that costs you absolutely nothing, but will make your life a million times better. And that secret happens to be the greatest mobile game of all time, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid's got over 600 champions now. All those champions come from unique factions, each with their own history in the world of Teleria. Let's meet the fantasy bad guys, the Orcs. Orcs get a bad rep in fantasy, but not in Raid. Now these guys look sick. Here's a couple of my favorites. You can just see how much each orc is influenced by its tribe and personality in each design. One of my favorite things about Raid is actually jumping into the PvP arena and having battles with opponents. This is the best time to get started with Raid and if you click my link at the top of the description or scan my QR code on screen right now, you'll get unique bonuses worth $30. We're talking a free epic champion, Vergis, 200k of silver, one energy refill, one XP boost and one ancient shard. So you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in the game. And all your treasure will be waiting for you right here in the little treasure icon. Now now that's done, let's get into the video. This week, we're in London, and on today's episode of Come Down With Me, we have self-proclaimed rapper Younger Asbo. He hasn't given us a job description, however, he told us he moves from Class A to Class B. I don't know, must be his uni timetable or something. Anyways, introduce yourself, chat. Yo, my peoples, my name's Younger Asbo, and I'm from the West Side, baby. Obviously, today, man's gonna be hosting Come Down With Me. Obviously, this ain't my actual yard. Man's in that band dizzy today. Cause, you know, Obo's real and them things there, and I don't really want my door getting booted off. And if I put my yard on live or television, that's probably gonna happen. You get me, blood? I thought you said you had to film here because you've been kicked out by your mum. <laughs> what? <laughs> no! Man said my mum had kicked me out of that. <laughs> I bet I told you not to say that. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Man's cooked for people before, G. Let's just say man's a chef, as you get me? When I chef up some yola, I'm gonna chef down it up. You get me, blood? <laughs> no, not really. Anyways, on to the guests. Yeah, right. My name's Becca, and I'm from London. What made you wanna come on the show? I don't know, really. Like, I could do with a bag still, cause, like, the OnlyFans thing ain't really working out, cause everyone's saying my nun's crusty and that, but I don't really think so. Like, I've only cheated, like, 40 man, and I'm 18, so it's quite fresh, I like. What's happening? My name's Dave, I'm 39, and I thought I'd come in here because my wife's kicked me out, and I thought it'd be good to learn a few cooking skills to cook her a nice meal and get her a good side by the end of the week. What will you do if you win the money at the end of the week? If I win the dough, well, do you know what? I can't cook to save my life, but if somehow I do win the dough, you know, a grand cash without the wife knowing, yeah, probably got a lot of cover and brasses, so that's a win win. Hello, my name's Nigel Watson, and I'm a school teacher. <laughs> well, ex school teacher. Nigel, could you tell us why you don't teach anymore? Oh, nothing serious, just a little minor incident that happened. Honestly, it's boring, you won't want to know. I think we would like to know, Nigel. Could you expand on that answer, please? Of course. <laughs> um, well, when I was working at the school, a silly, silly Billy child made an accusation against me, a false claim, have you put it, um, saying that I was perving on the boys whilst they was naked in the changing rooms. Absolutely ridiculous. I wouldn't do such a thing. They all had boxes on. And yes, granted, my cock was hard, but it had absolutely nothing to do with the fact I was in the boys' change rooms. It was a pure coincidence. Nothing to do with their tiny, <laughs> sexy, sweaty, naked, funny, loud, Jason fuck. Um, right. Back to the kitchen where Asbo talks us for his starter. Right, so obviously, the start of the day is going to be chip. Chip? What? I can't lie, he better use his own though. He better not order it from McDonald's and that. A chip! A f***ing chip! I'm a big man! I'll f***ing chip his tooth if he ain't careful! A chip! Hmm, maybe it's an anagram for something. Cock's hot in pastry! Oh, I'm excited now! It's 7 o'clock and the guests have started to arrive. First to the door is so-called geezer, Dave. Yo, 
Yo, we say, my buddy, you good, yeah? What's your name? Dave, bro. Dave, brother. Dave, yeah, Asbo. Nice to meet you, my brother. Yeah, take that, enjoy yourself. Go straight in. Oh, nice one, brother. I'll get drinking to this now, this. Meg. Magnum. What the f is that? You ain't got any Stella, have you, boy? Swiftly followed by Becca. Raw. I didn't know he was having angels over for dinner. Wow, you're a fire, darling. I can't even lie. Right, but listen, man, I'll chat to you in a minute here. Take that, girl. Go through there. <laughs> Cheers, B. And last but not least, Nigel. Yeah, you know, you look like a nonce, bruv. What? Who told you that? How, how do you know? Huh? Nothing, G. I'm just saying them glasses make you look like a nonce, innit? <laughs> Imagine dressing up for a dinner party. Funny guy, though. Oh. Um. Yes, <laughs> that's right. I'm all up for a laugh, me. It's just a fancy dress. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever, bruv. Anyways, take this, go through. Oh, wow, thanks. It looks like chloroform. <laughs> right, now my guests are all here. It's time to dish them up my star. And I know they're gonna love it, cuz. Yeah, yeah, what? Are you anytime I sat in there? Yeah, you good, yeah, you good, yeah. All right, so we got a couple starters. Got one for me, obviously. Yeah, one for you, big man. Yeah, one for you, brother. Obviously, one for you, darling, yeah? <laughs> oh, and the spare one for me as well. <laughs> Enjoy it. Uh, sorry, but... Uh, What's this? Huh? What do you mean, what is this? Do not read the f***ing menu? It's chip, bruv. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I've eaten some rotten things in my time, but that tops it! You're not supposed to eat it, you f***ing wallad. It's for your zoo blood. Man always smokes a zoo before a munch sign. Standard f***ing donut. Oh, right. Well, um, where's the weed then? What? Are you dumb? You think I'm gonna be giving you out free bud? You know I shot Cali G. This shit's pricey, bro. Hey, Dookie. Blood, bring your own weed. Should be grateful I gave you chip in the first place. Who do you think this is, man? Fucking dickhead. Hey, Asbo. I can't lie. I do ban in it, but like, I ain't gonna weed on me. Could you not sponsor me some, please? <laughs> nah, sorry, darling. Don't worry like that. What? Not even a little tens, no? Oh my days, bro! This girl's a jazzy, you cuz! <laughs> you man pre this! Ah uh, yeah, say nothing, darling, say nothing. I'll sort your little tens later for a bit of work, innit? But I want that sloppy thing, though. Don't be giving man no dry arc. Of course, man. Who do you think I am? I give the brizzy. <laughs> alright, alright. I like this girl, you know. <laughs> but not right now, though, darling. I'm hosting it. I'm trying to win a bag in that, so yeah. Do it a bit later, yeah? Say nothing, boo. Next, onto the mains. But before Asbo dishes up his special, the guests have a look round his humble abode. Yeah, no, boy. Me, stay to this gaff. Could do it with a lick of paint, don't you think? I've seen tear ass gaffs and better nick than this. <laughs> oh, tell me about it. I love tearing some ass, me. <laughs> <laughs> what, yeah, do you like a brass then, do you? A good man. A what? A tear ass. A brass. You know, a prostitute. It looks like an old brothel, doesn't it? Oh, is, is, is that what that means? I thought you meant a place you take kidnapped kids to tear them on your arse all okay, Dad! I mean, not that I do anything like that. Ah, I've just seen about it on the, the news and, and stuff. Yes, yes, I love a brass me. <laughs> right. Ah! What was that? A kid? I, I mean, I don't know. Come, let's go, Chip. What's the matter, babe? <laughs> Look there! That's a dead body, a lie! Oh, f me, he don't look too handsome, does he? Here, let me see if he's alive. Hello? Mate? No, sorry, brother. None of us do. 
Oh, please, brother. Please. I know you got some. I know I just, I just want a little bit. Oh, just a little bit, please. There's a geezer in there. He uses my ass to cook for you. Don't give me nothing, brother. I ain't had nothing in days, mush. Listen, pal. I've told ya. We f***ing got nothing. All right? Now, f*** off. Oh, please, brother. I only want a little bit. Please. I said we ain't got nothing. Fucking prick. That's all fucking shut him up. Moving on, and Asbro is preparing the mains in the kitchen. Obviously, next week on our menu is Yola, cuz I'm whipping up some Yola right now for the fiends, you get me? <laughs> Obviously, this time it's not really the fiends, it's my dinner guest. <laughs> uh, do you reckon they will like it? I don't fk shut up, no blood. What do you think, man? Is this? I don't smoke this shit, why am I some sort of knee? Indicate. Just the only thing man knows how to cook in it, so that's all they're getting served. Right now, people, for the main dish, obviously, man's whipped you up a bit of yo la cuz, you know what I'm saying? Now, obviously, man's not really indulging this shit myself, oh, but you never know, you lot might, so there's a bit for you, darling. And you play it nice one, yeah? It's a bit for you, baba. A bit for you, you like, you like it. <laughs> Anyways, if you don't like it, you don't like it. But if you do, it's a win win for me, cuz. Because you know where to come and get it. Off me, and it earns me more bread. <laughs> so take this as a kind of like tester, innit? You get me? What is it? Crack. Right, I'm going hungry today. <laughs> Hey, what's that smell? Crack! Oi! Oi! Here comes you giving them free cracking on me, brother! Huh? Well, I told you about coming to the f***ing dining room, G. F*** off, blood. I told you you're not welcome, innit? Oh, brother, please! I only want a little bit for my plate. I've got a little triangle set up. It's my house. Just, just, just a little bit, brother, please. No, bro. I'll win a bag if they like this shit. So f*** off. What? Do you want me to poke you? Oh, f*** it. Oh, you f***ing Sorry, guys. Two seconds. After Asbro dealt with his um, acquaintance, he's back in the kitchen ready to serve the final meal of the day. Sorry about that, obviously. So I mean, the fiends are acting up, so obviously I'm gonna have to run in there and poke him up. Truce is leaking now, probably dead, might catch him, but no one cares about him, he's a fing nitty. Anyways, back to the food. I think my guests are gonna like my dessert, because we've got some brownies. <laughs> but this time, they ain't no normal brownies. They're my special brownies. You get me? <laughs> Oh, Jesus! I must say, you really have done yourself here. These are lovely. Mmm. If you ain't wrong, finally some actual food. Word. <laughs> I fucking love you, man. Right, but what's it? When you finish your food, yeah? Got some entertainment for you lot still. So, eat up. Come follow me into the next room. Oh, how exciting! As their stomachs settle from the brownies, Asbro takes them into the other room for a bit of in-house entertainment. Right, everyone, gather round, gather round, gather round. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, for today's entertainment, we're gonna be doing karaoke still. But it's my type of karaoke. This ain't no fucking cha-cha slide and all them things there. We're doing some drill, all right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna catch a little vibe. I'm gonna put on a drill beat. We're all gonna do four bars each, and the winner, gets my shank. Now remember, this ain't just any shank. Man's ducked down a lot of pagans with his still. Do you know what I mean? There's a couple cases in there. So, go after my baby if you win it. And plus, if your fingerprints go on it, this uh, your case anyway. But anyway, let's get into the music, all right? Let's just play a beat here. Rush roulette and I spin this gun. You know that we do this for fun Yeah we do ride outs and glide outs When we ching man's chest and lung yeah, you know that you might get bun Six man hooped he might get spun I know that they lie and swear on their mums Cause when I see a op boy they just run Beer and Charlie I'm ready to party I put that on me life The brass is nani, might smell farty But I don't like me wife 
Bugle and Stella, I'm a real fella, got to name your price Might go on a rampage, punch your face in, but I won't use a knife If his piece is long, might slop it, big one, might chop it See me, I'm a Jezebel, but I don't care if you mock it Cause I'm loving my anal beads, loving the way my anal bleeds Sucking his cock cock, giving him slop top, what he can't have but a girl but needs Molest your family, molest your kids, as long as they're young and a seven The things that I get up to on a day to day, I'm not going to heaven Skirt in the transit, selling these sweeties, kids jump straight in the trunk Arse so torn, I feel like the devil to a cock so covered in spunk <laughs> What? It's fictional, obviously. Speaking of weird, my head feels all funny. And I feel tired, bruv. What's going on? Yeah, I can't lie, I feel fried still. What do you put in them brownies, boo? I done no my thing. Obviously, man just slipped in a bit of THC into their brownies, made some edibles. You know, man's got a loud pack still. <laughs> You're enjoying it, yeah? And Nigel, what do you reckon, my brother? Yo, Nigel, my brother, you good? You look like you're bugging G. Get out of my head! Oh God! Oh, I can hear the voices of all the kids I've assaulted over the years. Oh God! Please, make it stop! You what? Hey, the police are here. What? Where? God, you're in the sirens. Oh, I've got to go. I've got to go. Oh, oh, oh. Raw. My man has a lot of problems up there still. Anyways, what are you saying, Dave? <laughs> I told you, man, I had a loud pack. Yo, Dave! Don't fall asleep standing up, my bro. You'll hurt yourself. Oh, sorry, brother. I don't mean to be a bad guest. I just don't usually puff. You ain't got any cover by any chance having to lava me up. Do you know what? Yeah, actually, I do. Here, knock yourself out. Oh, sweet, mate. Nice one. <laughs> Chill out, mate. Jeez. Now, do you know what? Do you know what I'll tell you about this f***ing party? One of the best parties. Do you know what? You're a f***ing good bloke, mate. You are f***ing. You are a lovely fella. I met, Eddie, I met some f***ing people in my time. And see you, boy. Lovely fella. Lovely party. Do you know what? I've got the raging all on. I've got to call a boss. Do you mind if I get a bit filthy in the next room? Ah, uh, not at all, big man. Do your thing. Oh, wicked partner. Lovely. Top man. Lovely bloke, dude. That's one, mate. <laughs> whatever, blood. Anyways, darling, what are you saying? You wanna go upstairs and work off this free five, yeah? <laughs> yeah, come. Sounds like a plan, boo. <laughs> All right, say nothing. Come. As the night comes to a close, the guests make their way home and score Asbo out of a possible ten. I can't lie, I thought the food was pretty shit, you know. But at the end of the day, I still got some free weed and I got to suck some cock, so I'm gonna give Asbo a seven. Oh, f me, what a party, what a f Party, top fella and all, mate. Top fella, absolutely top fella. And some drummy, I don't know what's his name. Crossbow, Rambo. No, what's his name? Uh, I can't remember. What's a party though? Yeah, lovely fella, top geezer, top man. Love the pot. I mean, I've been to some parties in my time, and that's got to be up there. Straight ten every time. Ten, 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 f***ing ten. Are they following us? I can hear them. Get out of my head! Get out of my head! Why are you taking me? Are you the police? I promise. All the 11 year olds I thought they was 13. I promise. Anyways, that is the new video. I hope you did enjoy something a little different. If you enjoyed the video and you want more stuff like this, please smash the like button. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. Get yourself some merchandise if you haven't already. It's in the description. Subscribe today to Johnny Kezra Army. And yeah, goodbye.